And now time for more strength training. This is my immediate goal. Would be to get power up to 300. So when I get to D rank, success, good. Um, I can learn X Blade. And more up. Well, let's see if Vitamins helps with his gluttony thing. Apparently that was considered spoiling him. Interesting. And the Agima Training Center is having a sale. 66% off uh, sparring. Which sparring is what gives the um, new techs and also gives some pretty good stat bonuses, but it takes a month along with some money. And Francesca telling us about super coaches now. We'll go ahead and listen to it. But, you know, they're basically higher than rank S, huh? They're coaches that you can hire at um, back in town that are more expensive but they have much higher stats. And they only show up every once in a while. Every even numbered year, I think. Yes, okay. And their initial cost is higher, but the re the um, renewal cost for any coach is just 800. Which is paid once a year. Okay, so there's that. We're in good shape, so back to strength training. Uh, yeah, okay. I have level 3 accuracy, which is alright, it should be good enough for now. I'm tired. Um, accuracy generally isn't too much of a concern. Four or five hundred should be enough to get. Okay, battle second of next month. But four or five hundred should be enough for up to S class. So mainly focus on power and defense and other stats. And I'm not particularly ready to move up to D class just yet. So I'm not going to be entering that tournament. Oh, I forgot to check if vitamins did anything. Well, he's a little tired, let's check now. Uh, nope, still gluttonous. But he is only fat instead of obese. So I guess it did something. Battle time! The Sprout Cup. And this one is one of those tier elimination tournaments. So we only have to do two fights instead of three. They've got pretty evenly balanced stats. This shouldn't be too hard. Well, really, they have, um, this should be a pretty even fight, but the CPU t tends to play a little bit more cagey. As opposed to me, where I spam Falcon Punch. And 
the red eye beats the Mogi. And Marla gets third place. Whoop de doo. Yep. Swayzo. Void. Kind of an ominous name for an E rank monster. It could rank up eventually, but. You know, CPU monsters just kind of always stay the same rank. Show me your moves! And Falcon Punch! Yes! This game's winner is Captain Falcon. Nine more popularity. I'm not sure if popular popularity actually does anything, though there is the popular trait, which I'm our doc. Yes, why are you here? Stray monster attacks, or no, this isn't stray monster attacks. This is about uh, Canute. But uh, the popular trait gives higher chance of getting friends, which shows up a bit later. Sometimes you'll run into. Okay, Junior Open, end of December. Sometimes you'll run into monsters while exploring in ruins. And after you beat them, there's a chance that you'll be able to use them in battle as kind of a tag attack. Okay, level 4 strength now. And we'll just go back to or keep on going with the potatoes. I said my accuracy is basically fine, so I'm just gonna keep on going with strength. And rest. Hmm. Okay, back up to fully energetic. Really energetic, whatever. Time to push more rocks. Bit more power, actually. Let's see here. He's eight months now, so let's give one of the advanced trainings a try. Mm, smash up. For a little bit more defense, along with power. And success! Awesome. And as you can see, well, due to Masamaru not being very high statted, the strength bonus was about the same. And then just a trade off between defensive and, and intelligence. But it tired him out much quicker. Went from pretty lively to tired. Wait, when was the battle? Oh, there's one right now. Awesome. 